Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to Ogre Speed Shop. On uh, this video, we're gonna get back into troubleshooting on the Camaro, why it's got a hot start issue. Uh, we already went through the fuel system and everything on the fuel system checked out. So next thing we're gonna talk about is electrical. So stick around. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and uh, stand by and enjoy the video. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, replace the spark plugs. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, regular spark plugs and I'm gonna go with iridiums this time. So I got the NGK TR55 IX 7164 for the Iridium, and they're gonna be uh, gapped to 60 thousandths. So let's get into that. I was mistaken, sorry, it's supposed to be 55 thousandths, not 60 thousandths. Things torqued down to where it's supposed to be. Click, 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 and click. All right, I got those all in. And next will be wires. Spark plug wires. I went with the AC Delcos, and the part number is 9746CC. And you say quantity one for six cylinder. They're similar to Mexico. So, so what I got, I got all these parts from Brock Auto. Not sponsored, just uh, it was about half the price it would have been if I would have bought the same exact stuff at uh, O'Reilly's, which, you know, the online world. That's what it's coming to. So let's get those spark plug wires on. All right, so let's not get the spark plug wires on, so let's get this going on that. As you can see, I wrote my spiring order down here as far as the coil pack goes. So it's one, four, five, two, three, six from uh, rear to front. So that's what I gotta do. And typical GM, Chevy, it's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. For the firing order. That's enough. God dang, that's spewed out like it was fucking. Uh, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up. New plugs and wires are installed. Let's go ahead and fire up. See how she works. See how she sounds. test drive and see what happens see if I can get that condition to repeat itself let's go for a drive well, it's about 46 degrees out this morning uh, it's like 10 o'clock I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a cold start on the Camaro see how it reacts to the cold it was 32 degrees overnight last night so let's get to it and see how she goes Have 228,825 miles on her. So we're gonna take her for a drive and see how she does when we get back. Right, let's 
take her for a trip here. She's charging, got a full tank, plenty of oil pressure, temperature's starting to come up, but she's be running pretty good. This is running a little better, so I think the spark plug wires and plugs made a difference. Temperatures it's up to temp. Oil pressure still good. Voltage good. Still plenty of gas. So let's see what happens after she sits for a little bit. Let's see if she'll fire up. All right. So it's been about half an hour. It's usually about what it takes for it to not want to start. So let's see what it does. So it seems like a fuel issue to me or anything else. That wasn't as bad as it's been before, but I don't know if you all heard that weird hesitation where it didn't want to start at first and then it kicked over finally. Yep, I still think it's a fuel issue. It might be the fuel pump. Don't know. Check it out again. I can see what it does when it starts just right back up after shutting it off. It fires right up and it's fine. <laughs> but that long start, that's the thing that makes me wonder. It's like, it's definitely got charge, definitely got spark. Well, I think. But the only thing I think that would do, I wonder if I primed it first. Well, I said, let it sit for a little bit longer. And we'll try it again, and I'll try priming the pump and get the pump filled up first and see what happens there. So let's do that. All right, it's been another 30 minutes, so we're going to try this again by priming the pump this time and see what happens there. So let's do it. Let's get into it. All right. So this is, it makes a difference by priming it a couple times. That's one. Two. Still a little stutter to it, but it did fire up better. And again, right away it starts back up after it's been running for a minute. feel a little hesitation and possibly a little miss so I don't know I still think it might be back to fuel again because it's got a new ignition module new coils new plugs new wires I hope it ain't a computer an ECU but yeah I have to start testing fuel again it might just be the pump yeah. now I started doing that what the heck is that noise? I mean, it's a key buzzer, but... <laughs> really? Just lost all power? Well, that's really weird now. A battery issue. What the heck happened here? Oh, that battery freaking. Oh, okay, short now. Well, I bet you that's what it blows.
Battery's loose. God, there's something I didn't know about this battery. This was given to me back a couple, about a year or so ago. I didn't realize these could come off. And this little fitting right here was loose. So let me tighten that down and see if that could have been the cause. It wasn't that loose. I actually loosened it back more, but let me make sure these things are actually tight on here. No more loose there, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure the power ones, the positive is tight too. So, so I checked this one too, and it was loose as well. So this could have been the whole problem the whole time. It just cutting out, and not fucking getting, not getting the juice it needs. So let me get it back together and try starting it again and see what happens. All right. So as you can see, there's no movement on that now. That's tight. And that's tight. See if that makes a difference. Let's see what kind of crank power it has now. It's got a slight stumble, but it might just be because I disconnected the battery. Well, let's take her for a drive and find out. I oh, just made it back from a little drive, and you can see it's up in temperature. So let's see, what is it? Shade blocking. Okay, so you see it's up to operating temperature, oil pressures are good, voltage is good, you know, we're about 800 RPMs. So let's see uh, what happens after another half hour. Hopefully that battery post being loose is what caused it. Posts, I should All say. All right, it's been another 30 minutes, and temperature outside now is 62 degrees. I'm not sure how much of a difference that'll make. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna straight crank it and see what happens. See, that's what it does. So it wasn't the battery. Fuel pump is priming. gas or not enough. been a couple hours now so I'm gonna go ahead and just fire it up see what it does when it's cold okay the temperature's way down so all right so it fired up but it did crank for a while so Still thinking it might be a fuel issue because I can't imagine it being spark or anything else. So what do y'all think? I'm gonna end this video here because this just got to the point where I I'm just at a loss. So I'm calling on you, I'm calling on everybody out there, you know, what do you think it could possibly be? So it starts fine with a kind of a long crank when it's cold, but it starts up and runs fine. Then when it's, uh, I drive it, it warms up, 
start it up again. You saw in the video how it fires up hard, but then it kind of cuts out and dies sometimes, and most of the time it dies. Um, you saw how it cut down one time, and then uh, the second time it actually cut out completely and shut off. So the battery wasn't a problem. The problem, I thought maybe you know those connectors being loose could have been a problem, but they're not. So let me know what you think, all right? Um, if you like this video, leave a like down there. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And please leave me a comment if you have an idea what this could possibly be, you know, what could be causing this. I'm still thinking maybe a fuel issue. It's not, it's not getting enough uh, pressure up to the, for starting. Or maybe it's not getting a start shot. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. So just let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, I'll see y'all later.